Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle Mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly John so that you can have some sense of purpose in life. Just like me. Praise the Lord and good morning. We want to wish every one of you, those who are celebrating your birthdays today, a very happy birthday. Along with Psalm 20 verse 5. We may shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Hallelujah. And all those who are celebrating your wedding anniversaries, we want to wish you a very happy wedding anniversary today, along with Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Hallelujah. And today morning, let us turn our Bibles to Job chapter 19, verse 25. I am reading it from NLT. But as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and He will stand upon the earth at last. Hallelujah! This is the revelation of Job. This was the uh, a powerful revelation Job received. He told, but as for me, I know that my Redeemer lives. And he will stand upon the earth at last. His friends were accusing him. His wife accused him. But he was so sure that his Redeemer lives. In other words, he was saying, I know God is still on the throne. And he will vindicate me. Hallelujah. You have a vindicator in heaven. Don't worry, the people are against you. Don't worry if you are blamed for no reason. Don't worry if there are so many blaming fingers towards you for no reason. You have a vindicator. As Job understood, as Job had the revelation that he has a redeemer. Same way, how that revelation how that understanding, you have a redeemer. Whatever your circumstances may be, whatever the accusation you are facing today, I just wanted to tell you today morning that lift your voices, shout your praise and acknowledge that you have a redeemer. My redeemer lives so that I can face my tomorrow with boldness and courage. That's my strength, my Redeemer lives. When there was a test to Job, in the beginning we know that he had a little bit negative attitude. He had fear, but he, the moment he realized that his Redeemer lives, he put on a fresh attitude. He faced those accusations, those challenges by knowing that his God is on his side. That's what it says. With God, you are a majority. So, tell to yourself that I am not going to allow this hurts and disappointment to rule over me, rule my mind. I am keeping all this aside because I have a Redeemer. I know that. I have a Redeemer. He is able to redeem me from all kinds of things. Therefore, I am moving forward and upward. My eyes are fixed upon Jesus. My eyes are fixed upon my goal. And I know that my God is on time. He knows what is the best for me. I am not going to lose my faith. But I am going to stand tall and I am going to move forward. Because my Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we praise you for this wonderful morning, Lord. Lord, I pray for your children, those who are going through the turmoils, the troubles and the accusation for no reason, the blaming they are having, Lord, problems they are facing, Lord. Lord, 
had them to how this revelation has job for the revelation that their redeemer lives lord my redeemer lives so that i know that lord he is my rescuer lord not my friends not anybody lord he is the one who is going to give me honor in the place of shame lord he is the god who is going to give me the double for my trouble lord i trust you lord we glorify your name also lord we pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries lord if anybody is going through this kind of situation this kind of season of their lives lord i pray that lord help them to have this revelation to lord their redeemer live lord you are on their side and they are the majority because you are on their side lord you never leave them and neither forsake them you are their cover they are You are their confidence, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. We want to glorify your name, Lord. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen, amen. Have a blessed day.